Hey everyone, so welcome back to 2Q Claws. Today's video um, is actually, or was actually, supposed to be uploaded like the very beginning of September, but things got hectic with school and I had to get caught up on my other channel. So, by the way, if you hear voices, it's because my cousin's on the phone with me. So, I'm sorry about that. But anyway. <clears throat> I'll be doing a video. <laughs> um, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Love you guys and your viewers. Please post this on social media so people know about her. And yeah, that's all I'll say. This is my guinea pig channel. I don't care. Learn about guinea pigs. Okay. Anyway, so like I said, this is going to be guinea pigs save vegetables. So basically all day today, you're just going to get mass uploads of what was supposed to be uploaded in September. So either way, I hope you find all of these video informational, um, aside from my other ones that I've been doing recently. Okay. So um, just a quick disclaimer before I officially start. I know everyone has their own opinions on certain fruits and certain vegetables. Do what you feel is comfortable but the this is just what it says. So, we have eggplant. Only the... Only the fit without the green. I, to be honest, don't know what that says. I didn't know they could have eggplant until just now. Um, I don't buy eggplant, so she's never going to have eggplant. They can have asparagus. But you should only feed guinea pigs asparagus rarely. Asparagus is really high in um, like acid or something like that. So just saying, if you want your guinea pig to die, um, which I'm pretty sure none of you do, just feed asparagus, <laughs> you popcorn. Rarely, rarely, rarely. They can have beetroot. Feed carefully because of the oxalic acid. Um, the color of beetroot may affect the color of their urine and feces, and it can be provided with the green on top. So they can have everything <clears throat> with the beetroot, but just don't be alarmed if their urine or feces color like changes after eating it. It's just because of the color. Broccoli. Um, I know there's a bunch of controversy on broccolis, um, but... To be honest with you, broccoli is okay. It's high in vitamin C and it contains oxalic acid. So, provide it increasing. That means start off small and if your guinea pig likes it, gradually give them more and more and more until they can... Basically, it's like they're becoming immune to the gassy effect of broccoli. What it means. Carrot, which everyone knows you can give your pigs carrots. Um, a lot of people don't say to not feed carrots every single day, but I feed carrots every single day. That's just my preference. She doesn't get, like, big carrots. She gets baby carrots, so every day having, like, one or two fat ones isn't really going to hurt her. Um, celery can be provided complete peel if it is root celery. So, there you go, celery. Chicory. I personally don't know what chicory is, other than it's a vegetable. <laughs> um, I might want to try it one day, I don't know, but chicory, um, not the outer leaves. Definitely not the outer leaves, because it, it is super high in the oxalic acid, so do not feed your guinea pig the outer leaves of chicory. You will regret it later. Um, they cannot have Chinese cabbage. Just saying. Um, I got asked by a friend if they could, so I'm just going to stay in this video, no, just because it, even though this is only guinea pig safe vegetables, I still want to say no, just so I can answer my friend's question. Corn, only the green parts of the corn, no actual corn itself, that would probably not end up well for you or your pig. Cucumber, very popular. And that's what I thought you said. Wow. So, cucumber is very, very, very good for guinea pigs. It's especially in the summer. They love um, a nice cool size of cucumber. By the way, um, I put that there just because 
as you can see all of the crumbs fall down in here she does like it there better and it makes less of a mess so don't worry i'm not torturing her um the endive it is rich in vitamins and minerals and very appetizing to ya pigs you know want to be nice to the pigs funnel is also rich in vitamins and minerals um the only thing with funnel is that it could change the color of their urine but it is helpful with digestion like digestion so you could do that field salad um i don't know what that means but okay Fee field salad you should feed carefully in small amounts because of the nitrate and this can cause flatulence and diarrhea so just saying small amounts are your best friends and I know she's out of grass I'm getting her more after this video they can have kohlrabi kohlrabi I don't know how you pronounce that um, provide rarely but they can have all of it um, everyone knows that they can have their special lettuce, you know, the beautiful lettuce. Provide, some lettuces provide diarrhea, so if you ever watched my guinea pig life hacks video, you'll know to know your guinea pig before giving them stuff, so just, just a hint, go look at that video, it's really helpful. Um, mangle and mangled, I have no idea what that is, but provide it rarely. Paprika, provide without stock and only ripe. It is rich in vitamin C. Pumpkin, decorative gourds are not food. So, there are actually, the pumpkins that you would carve for jack-o'-lanterns are not edible for pigs. If you give it to them, guess what? Your pig will die, probably, just saying. Um, but you can get small pumpkins, and I, I think they're called pie pumpkins. Um, and those ones are actually safe for guinea pigs to eat. Basically, if you can eat it, they can eat it, so keep that in mind. But do more research, of course, just so you can know. Um, radish, only feed the green parts of radishes. Um... I don't know what rocket is, but apparently rocket is a type of vegetable, and it says to feed rarely, and it contains the mustard oil seed, so apparently it has something to do with that. Um, rutabaga um, is very good for the winter season, and it is very rich in vitamins. Spinach, because of its um, acid, you should only provide spinach rarely, but I already do that anyway. Sunchoke, um, the entire plant can be provided with that. Um, a sweet potato, potato, well, a sweet potato, yam, or kumara is rich in sugar and starch, so feed rarely. It can be provided with the peel. Um, tomatoes contain acid, so feed rarely. Turnip green, greens are rich in vitamin C, so they can have that. And zucchini is not liked by all guinea pigs, so don't feed your guinea pig zucchini. I'm guessing it's poisonous. I mean, I fed my guinea pig zucchini once, and guess what? She's still alive. But it was only a small amount, so I don't know. I don't know. Do research. Do research. But thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you found any of these vegetable things helpful, or if you didn't know that that vegetable could be eaten, let me know in the comments below because I always like to see them. So, just saying. If you love watching Patches eat during this whole video, um, give it a like because this cute butt eats for a living. And I will see you in the next video for guinea pig safe fruits. So, GQ Claws is out. Peace.